and guys, my name's Dynasty Gal for y'all today. Just a very quick Mortal Kombat 11 there because we now know the final piece of DLC dropping alongside Nightwolf and the classic female skin pack that uh, we've been discussing for about a month now. So going back to my days of covering everything being found on the PC side of things, you guys might remember this image right here. It said Steam DB Unknown Ab 1, 2, 3 different times. The first one probably being Nightwolf, the second one probably being, like I mentioned, the DLC skin pack 2. And that third one, we didn't know what that third one was. There is some rumor and speculation that maybe if we are lucky, it'd be a skin for Nightwolf based on Thunder from Killer Instinct. And as much as I wish that would happen, it seems like that's not the case because somebody over on the Mortal Kombat Leaks Reddit page found out that indeed it's uh it's actually a skin for Sonya Blade. So in this video, I'll be breaking down what got leaked on Steam a couple of days ago. It seems like it was either a glitch or honestly a leak because that's what happens with Mortal Kombat 11. Every other day, something is being found on the PC side of things, or Nintendo's leaking something. It's, it's been a nightmare. But guys, with that said, let's break this stuff down, and let's get into it. So a massive shout-out to user dfshadok7 on Reddit, because they posted this screenshot earlier in the week right here. You can see we got a list of installed DLC for Mortal Kombat 11. These red arrows are a new content that was not there before. You can see we got the DLC 2 skin pack, of course, the classic skin for all the females. You got Nightwolf, the next DLC character. At the very bottom, though, we got Sonya exclusive skin. So, just like the, I believe, the Shang Tsung movie skin for those who have the combat pack DLC, Sonya exclusive skin is going to be the next final piece dropping alongside Nightwolf. As for how this skin is going to look, I have no idea, no clue. Probably going to be another classic skin just like the other females are getting. Now, what I think is so interesting is if you try to replicate and get this done yourself, there is honestly no trace of this Sonya exclusive skin. So I'm thinking that Steam probably caught wind of this and they patched it with a quickness. It is no longer there, so... Maybe you guys can try to find this again because uh, outside of the screenshot, I haven't been able to find it, even like the PC files or anything like that from like trusted sources I've reached out to. So it is a bit interesting that uh, Steam made an oopsie like that, but it seems like Sonya is getting an exclusive skin in a couple weeks alongside Nightwolf in the DLC 2 skin pack for the females. Now, speaking of that pack for the females, shout out to Judgment Arts over on Twitter because Judgment mm -hmm. Arts created this right here. Pretty much the first look at a 3D rendered version of the classic skin we'll be getting for Katana. You can see it looks amazing. I cannot wait to rock these skins on Jade and Scarlet and, of course, Katana. So a massive shout-out to Judgment Art. We've got a way to grab the in-game render of this skin and give it some color, give it some life. So essentially, this will be what we're getting in a few weeks. And I mean, I understand we saw this a couple weeks ago, but it was a really bad, low-quality image. This is actually like a 3D model, so... Cool to see an actual taste for glimpse of what's to come. But guys, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think this Sonya exclusive skin is going to be. Will it be a movie skin? Will it be a classic skin? Of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, please take one second to like on it. Subscribe for more on and content. Until next time, I've been your host, the Dynasty. Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.